Well, recently I downloaded a video file from the internet and unfortunately when I opened the video, it took some time for the default media player. The video is in TS container, okay, you so see? This is the, uh, I was going to say annual, but this is... Well, you might think it's a normal video, but unfortunately this is not so normal because uh, even this video is playable using uh, Windows Media Player I have. But unfortunately, I cannot move the sick button. You see, I cannot drag this wherever, so I cannot jump to the specific time I want. Uh, even the file system, I mean, the explorer cannot read the lines of the video. It's not there in the, on the metadata. Uh, let's try open this using another player like VLC. But you see. VLC cannot even play the video from the start. So what's the solution? Well, fortunately, we can fix the video using the FFmpeg. So what's gonna do is uh, adding the fast start into the move flex so the video is playable, and so and, and the metadata will be moved at the video start. Yeah, that's a pretty technical terms but that's what we gonna do so make sure you already have the FFM pack installed on your system adding that to the path and uh, one one more thing we're gonna save the video into mp4 container rather than the TS container so let's begin with FFM pack and I will specify the input of the video and uh, the codec, we, we are not going to change, we're going to just copy the codec and then map everything as is and then the, here's, here's the, the important thing more flux and then fast start fast start and uh, yeah, save that into the web stream fixed just like that and the container is again mp4 hit enter uh, you see so in a second pass moving the move time at the beginning of the file extra and uh, yeah you see the file the file is actually now have the length I mean I mean the, the file system now is recognized the feeder length and now when we play the video okay so this is the uh, I was going to say annual but this is the monthly what where did uh, you see we can now drag the seek button and jump to a specific time point on the video well that's it thank you